Miss Wheel. I mean, you should have seen the way she lied to me the other day. I mean, the sacrifices you made for that she devil. Oh, you could have ended up in a morgue, and believe you and me, you don't ever want to go down there. I'll take your word for it. Oh, yeah. From my experience, it's very creepy with capital crates. So, how long are you uh, staying in Salem, Susan? Um, no. Not long. Not long. Not long at all. No. I just. But I sure miss you. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so wonderful. And. You know what? One day, I know it, you are going to get out of that chair, and you're going to be walking on your own two legs, it's it. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I've got to run, so... Ah. Well, that wasn't weird at all. No, not a bit. Where the hell is he, Aunt Kayla? I went to go visit Mom, and when I came back, he was gone. What if something's happened to him? Take it easy, don't think the worst, all right? Maybe they just took him down for another test tonight. Well, wouldn't that be on his chart? Well, give me a second here. You know, it's, it's not in the stage yet. Maybe I had time to put it in. Do you think maybe someone took him? Let me just call the nurse, okay? See what's up. Hi, um, this is Dr. Johnson, and uh, I wonder if I could speak with the floor nurse? Everything is gone. Yeah, hi, uh, Andrea. Listen, I'm uh, in room 425, and I wonder if you knew where the patient was. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, bye bye. I know they have nothing scheduled for him to fight. Oh, my God. I mean, something has happened. It's not like EJ got up and, and walked away on his own. It means something bad has happened to him, and we have to find him. Take it easy. I'm going to go talk to security, and I'll come back, all right? Just hang tight. Yeah, okay? Abby. Look, I know you're in there, okay? I just... Christina, I need to talk to you, okay? Yes, thank you, as soon as possible. I'm, I'm having the security throw him off the grounds. You don't have to worry about Chad anymore. Just we'll step away from the door. I'm not leaving here until I can talk to you, okay? I'm going to be right here. I'm not leaving. Actually, you are, sir. You're trespassing me to go. Listen, you're obviously new, okay? You don't know me, but this is my house. Now! now. I know that was hard, but you did the right thing. I gave up my family. Abigail, yeah, they gave up on you first. They were going to lock you away, remember? Because Chad thinks I'm sick. Chad wants you a certain way. If you can't live up to being his perfect little wife, he will send you away to get fixed, you understand? Look, I really appreciate you helping me out, but let's not pretend like you don't have some personal stake in all of this. Of course I do. Hmm. I'm doing it for, for my baby, for, for our baby, remember? And for my older Gabby. You are hoping that if I stay here with you, she will come back. That's the part of you I fell in love with. Part of you that loved me. So, Abigail divorced Chad and married Stefan? How is this even possible? Apparently money and power can buy anything. 